Hey, welcome back to our channel. This is Jared at Three C's Recreation, and today we're going to do a really quick install of grab handles. So the benefit of these, or the purpose, is if you're in a mud hole and you have a friend with you, they will help you get out of the mud hole. It gives them something to grab onto on the front. I learned about these when we started racing GNCC. So uh, Snowshoe, West Virginia, when we're down there racing the mud stuff, um, it's so nice to have something that the mud fleas, they can help you pull out on the bike. So we have a Cherbies for the front and then I got a nice Moose one for the rear. I found that these work pretty good for the beta products. Um, huge shout out to Mr. Keller. He's taken home this beautiful 200. I had six 200s come in this week. We got three of them in the shop right now getting fully customized. We did our three C's rec front number plate bracket so we can keep his hour meter. We did our steering stem lock cover, uh, kickstart kit, and then all the guards. And the last thing on his build is gonna be this bracket, or the guard. So if you come over toward the front, the Trubies is nice. It's uh, no tools needed to install this. So if I come in here, I can do this side real quick. And then we can show you guys how I'm gonna do that side. So I just kind of loop it around. It's kind of like doing your helmet buckle. It's just that simple. So I'll get this side just quickly put on and I'll fine tune it. He's on his way to grab the bike, so I'll fix that here in a second. But just to show you guys on this side, so a little bit easier over here. You just kind of grab it and we're going to thread it through, pull it back. And again, just like your helmet, we're just going to throw it back through here. And then you can bring the extra up to the front. So. This is just a really nice place for somebody to grab onto if you're in a mud hole. When you're doing it um, on the brake cable side, just try to route this and I'm gonna play with it. We'll make sure that it looks really good and we're done here. We'll get it all snapped in, but just make sure it's not rubbing on the brake. Try to keep it off to the side. You don't want this um, excess wear every time you hit a bump. So that's what the front looks like. It's a nice thing. It's really easy to take it on and off. So if it, if it is an extreme mud race, throw a set of these in your trailer. That way, if you're stuck in a rut, Somebody can grab this and pull up and out on it. And then the back is really cool too. So I brought in this Moose racing brand. It's kind of funny. I did a Trubies in the front and Moose in the back. And Moose gives you a whole pile of bolts. I'm not sure why there's so many options. Well, I know why there's bolts, but there's just a ton of these plastic washers. So let me grab in here. They have a couple eight millimeter bolts. If I can fish them out. So let's see here. They give you these really nice aluminum spacers and they're gonna fit right inside of the end of the strap here, just like this. And then that way the strap can kind of stay loose. And I think that's important so it doesn't wear on it. So if we look up underneath the fender of this bike, so come around this way. And up under here, we have eliminated, he wanted no lights on his bike. So we took this rear uh, fender piece off. But even if you were to run this, you can still run these straps because if you look here, it's got a perfect size. It's like plenty of room to run this, but we're not gonna have these on this, or we're not gonna have the light on the bike. So we're gonna go right to where those bolts are that are gonna mount. And we're gonna end up taking these bolts out permanently because it did come with a perfect length bolt in the kit. So whether or not they thought of beta when they did this, they certainly gave us the right size bolts because it is a little bit deeper here. We have a lot of plastic we're going through. So we needed a little bit deeper bolt to do that. So. All we'll do is take this spacer and this bolt, and I wanna make sure we can read it nice and pretty for him here. And with playing with it for a while, I think that this looks the best here. So I can thread it right in. And then now it's gonna take this strap and go right up over the seat and we will do the other side. This is a nice strap as well because it does have the stretchies on this side so we can what we'll do is when we finalize this and we tuck this down in here, I'm gonna make sure that this does not stick up over the seat very far because we don't wanna like grab it with our boot when we're getting on and off the bike. So the goal with this is just to have somewhere we can reach down in, pull up on it a little bit and go. So just like the front, but if your back end is down in the mud hole, it gives you something to pick up and out on. So again, this is Jared at Three C's Recreation. Another one of our really quick tech tips. If you found the video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. That helps us grow. And if you need beta parts, give us a call. I'd love to work with you. Enjoy the ride.